ஸ்ரீ குரு பிஹோர் நம ஒன் ஆஃப் அவர் சப்ஸ்கிரைபர்ஸ் லக்கிலி ஷேட் எ பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஆர்டிகிள் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிகிள்ஸ் இ ஷேட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் எயிட் ஐ வாஸ் ரீடிங் த்ரூ இட் ஐ தாட் வி ஹவ் நாட் டன் எனி திங் ஆன் மெடிக்கல் அஸ்ட்ராலஜி ஆஸ் சச் இன் அவர் சேனல் ஸோ திஸ் வுட் பி எ குட் ஸ்டார்டிங் பாயிண்ட் ஐ தாட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆன் மேப்பிங் தி பாடி பார்ட்ஸ் வித் தி ராசிஸ் பிளானட்ஸ் அண்ட் த டிசீசஸ் காஸ்ட் பை தம் ஐ வாஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரிக்ட் வெரி மச் இன்ட்ரிக்ட் பை a department existing in astrology at the wales institute of science and technology and advanced studies at pallavaram chennai and uh, this was the first time we got introduced uh, to this existence and I was reading through this article there are multiple articles that they are publishing in this journal so i thought uh, let me read through it and see if uh, this can be uh, applied it may made easy by making a tool for this so the idea here is uh, in this article they analyze the links between rashi and the body parts and the planets and the diseases caused by them so you can read through because these are uh, freely available for download because these are open access articles uh, distributed on the creative commons and all that so you can very much uh, share these things uh, also there is no co- copyright violation so you can map through the mean the mapping is is partly in tamil it means it's also in english so we know that each sign has associated with it a body part and uh, also as per kala purushas uh, each is a house this is a first house this is the second house so when you say uh, eighth house it comes to this essentials not necessarily for scorpio law your eighth house could be here but still you can take this uh, uh, indications for the eighth house uh, so bhava indications can be taken from the kala purusha tattva uh, and uh, the sign indications are also from here so this is one mapping of sign and uh, bhavas to various parts of the body uh, yeah so various organs uh these things you can uh, because this is quite common to all of us and there is also this uh, this i have not pa- put as a part of the excel now which i'm going to introduce to you maybe we can do it down the line and uh, what the essential is all matters relating to disease should be ascertained from the planets in the 6th house and the planets in the 8th house the planets in the 12th so these are situated in the respective houses 6 8 and 12 the lord of the 6th house okay and uh, the planets associated with the lord of the 6th house the 6th house seems to be the most important uh, as regard to relating to disease 8th is going only going to augment or uh, making it uh, chronic or uh, making it uh, deviating into uh, unknown region uh, yeah, yeah uh, it can uh, deviate and make it worse as well 12 can give in fact some remedies but can control so basically aggravating a disease is the 8th house and maybe controlling a disease is the 12th house to some extent 12th is good in that sense uh, but uh, yeah that is the 6th is the actual problem creator uh, so so five elements are seen here the, the planets in the 6th house the planet in the 8th house and the planet in the 12th house constitute three elements and the lord of the 6th house is the fourth element and the planets associated with the lord of the 6th house is the fifth element so five elements they are checking for all matters relating to disease uh and the particular disease may be predicted if the same happens to be indicated by two or three multiple indications if it turns out to be the same planet indicating all these it's all the more vulnerable for us to fall sick in that period or that planets uh, uh, karakatvas related to ka- those karakatvas so the karakatvas of each planet we need to know the sun is the indicator of all these so if there is an excel to 
for a particular chart uh, to identify all this. So you can go through this article. I'll introduce the Excel now. So for that Excel, I am should be thankful to Mr. Jyotishi's channel, uh, which we already have spoken about before. This is a beautiful way in which he, he has introduced uh, Excel for neat printout of uh, our astrological charts, wherein he puts in uh, the database. Two files have to be opened separately. The AstroDB is one file where you give, just give the database uh, of the persons like the name, DOB, TOB, place of birth, time zone, latitude and longitude. He gives you also a neat converter for latitude, longitude from DMS to decimals, which on decimals have to be entered here. Yeah. And if there are multi same repetitions, then it identifies colors, color codes come with conditional formatting, which you can easily identify. And these are very useful so that you can eliminate uh, some repetitions as well. So this is very neatly laid out. So you can, you have to put this particular file and the file that I'm going to next share together in the same directory and first to open this astro db.xlsx and then open the other file so that uh, it works correctly for you. So the other file I'm going to have uh, kept both of things open. Since I changed the names there, it was Raghul Gandhi, so that's why <laughs> it has all hash values. Suppose you take this person, it immediately populates uh, what is his date of birth, what is his time of birth, which is given in the other file. So I was thinking why it's showing hash value because I had changed the names to just, uh, I had it had its original names. I did not want it to be shown to the public. So I just uh, put names as person one, person two, person three. So the way Jyotishi himself has structured for neat uh, layout, all the divisional charts like uh, Rasi, Navamsa and all that. So the printout section is just this portion. Uh, he identifies even the speed of the Gragas. So this is a very neat Excel that all of us can use. So I thought let me use this for further building up this medical astrology file as well. Here what you have to give is nothing. You have to, this color you have to choose depending upon which person you want to. And you can choose even whether why, which Ayanamsa you want. Uh, and also you can choose the Bhava chart type. If it is A, then it is equal house. Ascendant is in the middle of the Bhava 1. If it is E, it is the equal house again. But Ascendant is the start of the Bhava 1. Yes, is Sripati Patati's house division. P is Placidus KP house division. So you have a choice to make. You can do any of this. So this part, uh, I have uh, made the calculation part I have prepared for the Bhavas. He, he did not have that in this Excel. Uh, he has codes inside. So 1 to 12 Bhavas, depending upon uh, which Sripati or Placidus or uh, equal bid or equal start, uh, uh, you it identifies the Bhava longitudes and therefore if you have chosen particular say Sripati it will take uh, this uh, depending upon whether it is E or A or what you have chosen that degree is identified here and the Rasi number and uh, related information are pulled out here so uh, as I said for diseases all matters pertaining to diseases should be ascertained from six elements that I said. Six elements are planet six, six, eight, and twelve. And then lord of six. And then planets associated with uh, this lord of six. So only five elements, not six elements. So these three and these two. So for this person, Jupiter happens to be the only planet and Saturn and Jupiter alone happen to be the only planet. What I am doing here is for all planets, uh, number of times this repeats. So in this case, person 2, there is only Jupiter causing trouble and Saturn causing trouble uh, as per this uh, reckoning. So if you choose another person, here uh, Saturn, Jupiter and Moon, each causing... Uh, so these numbers, what it means is these numbers represent the number of times these are repeating. Suppose Jupiter repeats here many times, then you will have three here. 
uh, if it is multiply, I mean, uh, rep uh, repeating three times, it will be three. So it is the number of times these planets are repeating. Only three planets are there, first of all. So only moon is there, Jupiter is there, and Saturn is there. They are, these are potentially as hard as planets uh, as per this reckoning. Okay. So depending on, uh, normally what I have seen is, if it is uh, multiple planets, uh, then the disease proneness is, of course, very much there. And if the same planet repeats in all these uh, uh, multiple times, then it, that is worse. Uh, a number one is not that bad. If you get a two, three, uh, those are uh, really troublesome. One has to check all that for different people. So you can choose, see, yes, Saturn, Saturn, and here yeah, Rahu is there. So this plan, person is definitely more prone to diseases than the other person which we saw before. If you see here, Saturn represented by, already Saturn is a planet for diseases as per its own Karagatvas. And it is already representing two times here. Uh, as per, uh, in this chart you can check why Saturn. Saturn is the sixth lot. And it is also placed in the sixth house. So it is very strongly indicative it says. So that way you first identify which planet is most frequently appearing in this and which is uh, the strongest indicator for uh, the disease. So that you can repeatedly check for any number of persons. I have in my database some 800 people. So I can very well quickly work out. See this person, most of the planets are representing. In fact, all planets are associated with either the 6th house or the 8th house or the 12th house except for Venus and Rahu. Uh, so this man is more prone to diseases, but at least distributed. Everything is represented only once. Uh, I have seen such people are not uh, falling sick much compared to people with more frequency of a single planet. Uh, so that is one thing. And uh, well, how I'm using is this is, uh, let us maybe choose some another person because this person is not, uh, equal distribution is okay. But uh, repeated distribution is what has seemed to be troublesome. So I don't know. Uh, see, this he has uh, Venus appearing here, Venus appearing here. Let us see how much is the repetition. Venus is the sun is a strong representation. Venus is a strong representation for this person. So in the other sheet called medical, what I have done is, as per the paper that I already showed you, he identified this picture I have put in here. So let us, uh, and I have put a table here where Graha with uh, the disease causing potential, you can choose here. In this case, say you can choose Venus because Venus is what we already saw uh, representing the maximum potential hazard uh, for health uh, causing risks. So if you see Venus, and uh, Venus in this case, it automatically identifies to be placed in Scorpio. You can check that. Venus is indeed, indeed in Scorpio for this person and Scorpio happens to be the 12th house. So automatically it is uh, yeah, uh, troublesome in terms of 6th lord being in the 12th. Uh, so in some multiple indications it will say. And Graga is placed in the 12th. So Bhava wise you can check uh, the feet left eye are uh, indicative of the 12th house. And Scorpio you have a uh, Eight those external genitals, urine, blood, all that coming under uh, Scorpio. So it is a Kapha related dosha because Venus is a planet that can cause uh, Kapha related doshas. And dosha of the sign Scorpio is Pitta. And the problem could be pale, these are uh, automatically coming out from another sheet. So pale complexion due to anemia, eye troubles, urinary obstruction, diabetes. So these are the proneness. You can just read through that and give predictions uh, based on, of course, you verify it strongly with the other uh, factors. And here I have put uh, Anga, Vaktra for Venus. So if you have uh, see multiple people here, uh, you can choose uh, another person here. And uh, see 794, I put some other person here. In this case, uh, how many repeats are there? Equal repeats are there. I don't see much of a trouble when people have equal repeats. So when there are repeats which uh, Ketu is twice repeating, Sun is repeating twice. So Ketu and Sun can give trouble to this person. Let us check uh, an individual chat as well. Sun is the sixth lord 
Ketu is also in the sixth house, Sun is also in the sixth house. So this combination is uh, Sun uh, Ketu takes away the power of Sun. So this is uh, really troublesome. So suppose we bring in here the effect of Ketu, uh, immediately all these things change. So Ketu uh, is placed in Leo in this case. So Leo means the upper abdomen, mind, heart, liver, all this can be a problem area. And 6 is the Graga, 6th uh, house also is this house. So lower abdomen, navel, flesh, mental faculties, anus, kidneys can be affected. Ketu is a Pitta Graga, uh, Pitta Dosha. And the sign also is Pitta Dosha. So both aggravating together. So trouble through disputes with Brahmins and Kshatriyas is what the problem it generally says. Reduction in immunity, cancer, unidentified diseases, cataract, mind confusion, etc. is what uh, is predicted by this paper as well. Anga is the foot. Uh, anga is what uh, can get affected. Uh, of course, Ketu does not have a Ritu. And the herb is Ashwagandha, which can fight against this. So some uh, correlations can be built based upon this. I'm not sure if it fully works well for uh, all things. I have just built the tool. So it is left to us to identify how far it uh, all this uh, helps us in uh, medical astrology. So you can see the bhavas as well as the signs from this chart. And you can also identify from this what are the diseases that can be caused. In this case, we chose Ketu. So let us check, uh, is there Ketu? Yeah, Ketu is here. And therefore, cataracts. So 12th house is there, cataracts is there, left eye is there. So maybe he has a left eye cataract. Confusion of the mind, Ketu can give that. Reduction in immunity, unidentified diseases and all that. But generally, Ketu in the 6th is welcome. Uh, but with the 6th lord, it is uh, yeah, it can give trouble for health as well. So this is uh, Surya. Let us take Surya now. So one has to choose here, the individual has to choose Surya here. Uh, if, uh, so immediately Surya is also in Leo, it is also the Graga in Bhava 6 and it's also Pitam. The dosha of the sign is also Pitam. So I boil uh, fever, burning in the body because epilepsy, heart diseases are all, you have a list of diseases that can come because of Surya. So you can check uh, where Surya is, uh, maybe just Surya you can pick up, um, bone fractures are possible, it, maybe it is a 12th house indications. Uh, why 12th, I said uh, there's nothing to do with 12th here. Uh, okay, how come it is uh, 12 is uh, nothing to do with 12, right? Uh, Raghu is uh, in the 12th house, so Surya is aspecting the 12th, so not much. So the epilepsy, fever, fits, uh, these are uh, the diseases, generally you can add up to this list further if you want to build the tool further. So this is how I'm going to use this tool. And you can also, this Excel beautifully uh, made by Mr. Jyotish's channel. Uh, you can check what Dasha is running, what Bhukti is running, what Antra is running. And within that uh, Dasha, Bhukti, Antra. So this person, for instance, uh, is current times, so which is 2020, say 2020, 2 to 2024 20, is running Saturn Rahu now. So within Saturn Rahu, say Saturn and Rahu, we choose here. Very neatly laid out. The Pratyantara in Saturn Rahu is currently running. He is running, uh, say, Saturn Rahu Venus. So 23 December to 24 June, he is running Saturn Rahu Venus. So, so Saturn Rahu Venus, we can already check uh, which are the bad planets for him. Raghu is bad because it is placed in the 12th. Saturn is not that bad. Raghu and Venus is not that bad at all. So it's not much of a time for uh, health concerns. Because Raghu in the 12th is okay. Uh, uh, so that way you can identify things. So use the uh, Vidasha also tool. And use this as a medical astrological tool. And uh, this is purely based upon... Uh, the paper, of course, uh, we have not uh, used the D3 part here, but uh, uh, this is how the paper identifies. So the Ketu trouble through disputes with Brahmins and Kshatriyas. This is what I have now built as a excerpt. 
and uh, here again sung head brain related disease heart disease all these uh, bone fractures spinal cord jaundice typhoid leprosy etc are also coming there k2 reduction in immunity cancer non hereditary diseases cataracts mind confusion this what you already saw there so this is a nice paper they have referred to mantreshwara's medical astrology by durai k rajagopal and tirupur go s gopal krishnan's medical astrology medical astrology by rajkumar marthu ajodidam by tirkoilo a chari prasad sharma and uh, multiple books there so this excel uh, i made use of uh, based upon jyotishi's presentation so i just used this template and added to it uh, the bhava cups so that we know where it is uh, the lord of sixth bhava if you have to identify those things i needed this so that way i built additional this portion in that excel and the excel is very very useful i built this portion also now so that way i built the medical part here uh, here also i have let me clear this these are other co correlations of ayurveda and astrology on health uh, this is a good book reference that you can go look into as well uh, where he identifies the anga the kukshi part is got uh, getting affected here yeah. uh kattu is uh, the rasa uh basically the six rasas of uh, the taste uh, that can uh, be against you uh, because surya represents that rasa in this case and which ritu the six uh, seasons that can affect uh, in surya especially in grishma the trouble could be more and what herb can be against uh, working helpful to a bilva mole and these are uh, coming out uh, how far you are going to use this depends upon uh, yeah uh, how you see these things and practice so this is a tool that i wanted to share with you i'll put these two excel files together as i said you have to first to open the other file uh, you have to open this astro db.xls both uh, these files have to be placed in the same directory you have to open this and give your data uh, in this file and then also you have to give uh, this also in the same directory and then open the secondly you have to open this and both should work all right give me feedback on medical astrology let us see uh, what more we can build uh, on this i sincerely thank uh, mr sai sai dheeraj ji for uh, uh, sharing this uh, uh, pdf file with me and uh, motivating me to go through this and make this uh, excel file thank you so much